What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of The Electric Productions. Super glad you guys decided to swing by today. We're going to be taking a look at a new game that just came out on Steam called Let Them Come. Let Them Come is a stationary shooter. So you mount up at one end of a hallway and you have a swarm of bugs just like Starship Troopers come flying at you and you have to do your best to hold them off for as long as possible before your inevitable fate. But along the way you can earn a lot of money and a lot of upgrades. So without further ado, let's roll the intro and get right into it. <laughs> Okay, so before we get started, there's a couple things I want to show you guys really fast. As you progress through the game, you'll have access to Rampage Challenge, where you can compete on the leaderboards. Big Boss Challenge, there's about 100 waves in this game, and after every 20 waves, there's a boss you can play. And as you defeat those bosses, you open up the boss challenge so you can practice against those bosses. So, and there's also a Twitch challenge where it's got the name of the Twitch viewers on the different aliens. I don't know if they can control the aliens or I'm not exactly sure. I haven't done that mode yet, but it's cool that it's there anyway. So the other things they've got is under options, they've got the controls where you can change things up a little bit. So I like making the grenade the G key for me and I like my secondary ammo to be my right mouse button, personally. You can also play with a gamepad. Because of precision shooting, I would recommend going with a mouse for this one. Just personal preference there. And then as far as settings go, there's not too much. I've got performance turned all the way up. Language and windowed mode can be uh, opted for as well if you care to. We're gonna do a new game though, so that you guys can actually see how the game plays and, and what you can expect and so that I'm not spoiling stuff from the um, the second level which happens after you beat the first boss. When I saw this game at first I liked the art style, I thought it looked fun, I thought this was going to be a game that I was going to buy and you know do a review for and then probably either refund or um, just you know with it being only five dollars just kind of never touch again. But I've actually had to do three takes of this review now simply because the first time I thought that I had hit record and I either double tapped record or uh, just I hadn't hit it and then the second time I realized that um, I had had my image on the upper right hand side of the screen and it was blocking some of the meters that you needed to see. So this is my third take and I'm not upset I'm actually really enjoying the game a lot. So the lifeblood of the game is the currency that you get from defeating enemies. They make you buy this knife first, and I have to say that's always a huge pet peeve of mine. It seems to be a big thing in mobile titles uh, where you know you make money and then they immediately tell you what to purchase with it, and it's it just annoys me. And speaking of mobile titles, this actually feels like it's either already a mobile title, was made as a mobile title, and they decided to release a PC version, um, or something along those lines, because this definitely feels like a mobile game. I mean. I could totally see where, you know, it's just using your fingers to shoot and on the screen. If it's not a mobile title, it needs to be, because I actually would play this on my phone um, probably more than on my PC, and I'm enjoying it on my PC, but this is the perfect game to play a couple of waves on your phone. Uh, so again, I'm not sure. I haven't looked. I haven't even checked. I uh, probably should have done that, but <laughs> I'm just trying to get through it at this point after, uh, after three takes. I'm just trying to see if I can actually get through this today. Uh, so... And uh, these first few waves are, are really, really, really simple. I mean, there's not much to them. You've got those two enemy types. And the thing to also notice while you're earning money is that combo meter in the upper right-hand corner. That combo meter is what's going to make or break the game for you, um, or at least succeeding in the game. So when it fills all the way up like that, then there's a mini game here. you got to click it as close to the top as possible. And I always screw it up. Okay. And uh, if you get anywhere near the top, you get awesome. If you're in the lower, um, if you're the next quarter down, you get good. Lower than that is okay. And then if you go too high though, you overshoot it and it says, um, like it says you overshot it or whatever. And that's the worst you could possibly get. You're better off just clicking it right away and getting the lowest uh, possible results in there, which is just like okay or whatever. Um, but what that does is the higher the meter is to the top, if you can get that awesome, that is how long the special ability that you picked will actually last. So you want to try and get it as close to the top as possible without overshooting it. And then like we had uh, double damage and I've already, it's already gone now, but the double damage was, whoa, I'm going to die here. No, 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 no. We got so close to the end of the wave. That's okay. 
And so that double damage lasted, you know, for the maximum amount of time because I had gotten awesome on that little mini game. So let's go ahead and purchase this right here. And that's all we're going to purchase for right now. This is going to greatly speed up how fast my weapon fires. However, the downside is it's going to raise my heat level, which is right there next to the knife icon. So the knife icon. You can use the knife with spacebar if they get close to you. In this game, if they get close enough to start using your melee attacks, uh, at least in the first the first quarter of the game, uh, so the first 20 levels, if they're that close, then you're, you're pretty much done for, uh, and you're just kind of delaying the inevitable. Same thing for purchasing the health upgrades in the first 20 levels. I'd say don't bother. Um, if the enemies are so close to you that they're doing damage, then it's just a matter of time before you die anyway, and probably a very short amount of time too at that. So I'd say go more for your damage output type stuff on the first 20 levels, get your damage up, your speed of your fire of your weapon up, and then at that point as you move into the levels where they can actually start to shoot at you, the aliens can, then start worrying about health. So Frenzy, Score Multiplier, or Score Award, we're going to go Frenzy, and I overshot it. Some of them, the bar will raise faster, the level will raise faster than other ones, so it's not even something that you can perfect very easily. But that's okay. Um, we're, we're doing okay here. We're already on level 9. I will probably beat this level. And then around level 10, the challenge goes up, and then I, there's a special type of ammunition that I'm going to need in order to beat. Whoa. Oh, that was... That was too bad. That was too bad. So how much gold do we have? 443? Not enough, unfortunately. But it will help us with cooling, which we're going to buy right now. And this will help mitigate how quickly our weapon is heating up. So we shouldn't have to worry now about our weapon overheating at all, which is nice. So the art style's good. The music, it's fine. It's forgettable. Um, in my opinion, it's not its not bad at all. It's just, it's just kind of there. Um, enemy design's a lot of fun. I actually really do like the art style. It's got a weird, like... 2D, 3D look to it just because of the lighting. It reminds me of some of the older DOS type games, and I just like it a lot. The whole thing reminds me of a mixture of Starship Troopers and Aliens. It's got like the corridor feel of Aliens, and the enemies, the way they just come at you in waves, um, are very reminiscent to me of Starship Troopers, even though they don't necessarily look like the enemies from Starship Troopers. So our combo meter is almost filled, and that's going to be pretty awesome in a second here. We don't have a lot of great choices, so we're going to go for score award. And I got great instead of awesome, but I can live with great. And uh, yeah, the game has surprised me. It really did. I just, I did not think I was going to enjoy it as much as I have actually been enjoying it. Oh, woo, that was close. Now, pretty soon they're going to introduce a type of enemy that has these shields on the front of it, like rock-like arms that it will put up and block everything. Double damage. I overshot it. Oh! I've been doing really bad at the minigame. I'm usually pretty good at those, but I have not been doing very good this time around. There we go. So, these enemies right here give me a lot of trouble. They cannot be damaged when their arms are up, uh, when they're blocking. And so what you have to do is you have to wait for them to move forward a little bit, and then once they start to move, then you can get a couple of hits in before they block you again. But the problem here is that they defend the other enemies. They, they won't take damage, so they get really, really close to you. So your period of time to do damage to the other enemy goes way down because... Oh, double barrel. I'm going to go with great. There we go. Double barrels, just like double damage, and that it, it, it deals about the same much. It's just nice because you can hit smaller enemies. Because you got a little bit of a weapon spread there. There we go. Here we go. Wave 16 introduces the little bomber zombie things. They're easy enough. Later on, those guys will actually will um, have firearms too, and they will shoot at you as they run towards you, and that gets super annoying. But there's some different uh, upgrades that you can purchase that will actually help with that. And in a second here, I'm sure that we're going to bite the bucket, and I'll show you guys some of the other upgrades and the way they work 
in the menu system. There's some kind of unique different upgrades that you can get and you can actually upgrade your ammunition and there, there's a whole bunch of different options. It's, it's pretty cool. Wow, I can't believe that killed me. But true to my word, we're dead. So I'll show you here. So the melee weapons, you can purchase any of them. I recommend skipping all of them and saving up for the hand cannon. It's awesome. The grenades, I don't mess with too much because they you get 10 of them with each purchase. What I prefer is these special ammunitions that you can load into your machine gun and fire with your right mouse button. And they also have limited supply, but I much prefer them over the grenades. And then over here, the Lucky Charm is one of the first things you should try to purchase because executing combos fills up your meter even faster. And as you've already seen, it gives you some pretty nice stuff, the, the three perks you can choose from when you get a combo meter filled all the way up. This shotgun cluster mod you can actually drag onto whichever ammunition type you want and it will fire a, a buckshot round. This one is a charge mod, you can charge up your shot and then fire it. What you can do though if you're interested is drag, well we haven't unlocked it yet, but you can drag down a second regular ammunition and you can throw on the shotgun or the charge mod so your, rouse, your right mouse button then is going to be firing the buckshot or if you hold it in charging up your shot and then if you use your left one you're firing full auto like normal. When you get to the second round and the third round or stages I should say after the first 20 rounds you get to the second stage 20 more rounds third stage and so on and every time you get to a new stage you can actually upgrade a lot of these a second time to even enhance their effect even more. So there's a lot of different options for upgrading. But right now, what we're gonna get is, we are going to purchase these explosive ammo rounds. And then we need another 400 to get the four leaf clover. So here we go. And I'm gonna get us through to the first boss. So we've, we don't have very far to go. And then um, once we get through the, the first, whoa, that guy lasted a lot longer than I was expecting. And then once we get to the first boss, I'll wrap it up, give you my final thoughts, and then try to keep this video a little bit on the short side. Um, gun drone. So I am going to use some explosive ammo. I've already used a little bit. There it is. This stuff is awesome. It just shreds the enemies. And it's great because even those uh, shield guys cannot withstand it. Even with their shields up, it'll just it'll shred them. Let's do um, let's do score award. Change it up as melee only. And since I don't use melee too much, it's not one that I usually pick. I usually like to do the weapon type ones that give you unlimited ammunition, or the ones that give you. Let's shred these guys. There we go. Come on, combo meter. Ah, should have held in there a little bit longer. Frenzy makes you fire even faster. And here comes the boss wave. So we need to get our combo meter all the way up and then, sure, we'll do double barrel. Uh-oh. So the bad news is, is I'm totally out of uh, my special, and that is bad because, oh, maybe it's every 25 waves. I apologize. Maybe it's 30. I don't know. There's a lot of there's a lot of waves to this game. Um, but yeah, if you get your combo meter up and you can get like unlimited special ammo, this right here, this is the best thing you can get. Yes, perfect. And then just. At that point, you can just lay in. I mean, you've got unlimited for as long as it lasts. And it's going to absolutely boost your combo meter like crazy because you're just killing people left and right. You'll get triple and quad kills off of it. It's actually not a bad idea to let some of the enemies get on the screen because then you can get your double and quad kills, which raises your combo meter even faster. Yep, enemies explode on death. Overshot it. So now we've got explosive ammo and enemies blowing up on their own. And we are going to get like... Oh, that's it. I'm out. We're going to get like 2,000 cash this round. That's awesome. Come on, bud. 
Come on. These guys are so annoying. Especially when you're out of the special. There we go. Wave 24. These waves are pretty easy. You're better off just aiming your weapon in the upper right hand corner. Most of the lower spiders will jump right into your fire and then the upper spiders will walk right into it. And you can pretty much just sit there. They're kind of gimmies and they're nice because they really raise your combo meter up a lot and give you some cash too to boot. Uh oh. Well, unfortunately we got into the boss here. Means I'm probably gonna die just because this guy deals a fair amount of damage. It's possible to beat him with your regular weapon just fine. However, dot dot dot. It's so much easier to. Uh, oh man, to just use explosive ammunition, and I'll show you. It's just more tedious than anything. If you don't do enough damage to him when he rears up like that, then. Um, He'll send that shockwave out at you. Nah, they killed me. I almost have my combo meter up too. We may have been able to beat him if we had uh, gotten unlimited special ammunition. So let's grab the clover. We absolutely want that. And then we're going to spend the rest of our money on explosive rounds. Because once I beat him, I'm going to stop anyway for you guys. So 64 rounds should do him in. Oh, it's going to be close. Really close. But I think we got him. 10 rounds to spare. Very nice. That stuff just shreds him. And that's pretty much it. The character drags his boom box and his big machine gun to the next stage area and then you do the next I guess it was more like 25 or 30 waves that we just did but yeah you do the next uh, grouping of waves new inventory so it's every 25 waves my bad but uh, yeah I mean at this point now we can upgrade how fast our weapon fires again because more of those open up to us uh, we can also uh, upgrade the the four leaf clover so that our combo meter boosts even faster the cooling mechanism for our weapon can be upgraded again so you can really start churning out a lot of ammo very very quickly which is helpful because the waves get more and more intense you want to start now at this point in the game boosting your you know what we're just gonna just wreck them with the special there it is um, and then at this point also you want to start uh, thinking about upgrading your health um, more specifically your body armor option that they have in the game because you're going to start having some enemies during this, you know, the next 20 waves or so, they're going to start actually throwing, um, well, they'll start firing long-range weapons at you. So you're going to have to be able to soak up a little bit of damage without dying, and you might actually start to pick some of the, the health perks from your combo meter as well. Um, one of the good ones is there's like a, it's not called vampirism, but you, um, let's do score multiplier but every enemy you kill gives you some health back, and that's a really nice one uh, for as long as it lasts. Um, yeah, there are a lot more enemy types that will start appearing. Some of them are just um, bigger versions of the original enemies, but there's also a fair number of just all around new enemies too. So, and we'll get overrun here. Boom, there we go. That's it in a nutshell, guys. Um, I don't have too much else to, to really show you or tell you. It's, it's a lot of fun. I'm really surprised. I think it's worth the $5. I'd say if you like what you see here, support the devs and get the game. I think they put in, I've not seen any bugs or glitches of any kind. Pretty sure it runs on Unity. I think I saw some a Unity logo at some point. Uh, I might be wrong there, but it runs, it's extremely well optimized. It's not very demanding at all. I mean, graphically, you can clearly see it's not demanding in the least, but uh, it seems like it's well optimized too and it runs really well. Um, I don't have anything really negative to bring against the game other than the fact that, I mean, it's a simplistic game and it's not going to last you a super long time, but I think there's enough content here to last you 
definitely five dollars worth. If you guys want to see me play more of this, just let me know in the comment section below and we can do the next couple stages. And if you guys have another game you want me to take a look at, again, just let me know and I'll be happy to take a look for you if, uh, if I'm able to. That's going to wrap it up for this episode. I cannot wait to see you guys next time on the next episode of E-Electric Productions. You guys have a great day and game on. Music